The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the uh, funniest gay guy that we know and love, Mr. J.P. <laughs> yep. Welcome back, J.P. Hey, thanks, man. It's I, good to be back. Yeah, I'm man. Stoked. I just want to be friends. Hey, man, we're not. Oh, okay. I like that even. <laughs> that's a good you know, you really I mean, know the way to a guy's heart, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I, you know, it's that, that, I gotta, I gotta play coy a little bit. Yeah. I gotta reel you in. You I got know. to. Uh, I wish Scotty would do that. I just want to be friends. Nah. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. I've been looking for an out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> that's right. And uh, another great stand-up comedian, but he is also coming out with a new hit single uh, that's uh, just broke TikTok <laughs> the other day. None other than Lad. Was the, it Lad? He, nope, nope. Uh, uh, none other than the wreck, Mister uh, Derek Swift. They, yeah, they call me Swift because I beat your ass in a foot race last week. <laughs> Bullshit, you did. Yes, Hell I did. No. JP, I'm you were there. You saw yeah, me yeah. fucking smoke oh, him. F- smoked him. Yeah, I, whenever he tried to say he tripped over the curb. Yeah. No, yeah. the whole thing was we were running downhill, and because he's so smoked fat, he just him. rolled. This is just smoked the, him. Yeah, no, gravity doesn't. You're coming. The excuses keep coming. Oh, yeah. I like will. Hulk Hogan with that shit. Like, just yeah. keep going. <laughs> I will smoke your ass in a fucking. You're football. already Ooh. 0 for one, bro. No, I've never raced you, and I would. you did last. JP saw it. Yeah, man. yeah, I was there. If you could run a hundred yards, a hundred yards at full pace, I would buy you. I don't know what, like a hot dog, just to feed your you no, know, curb no, your no, hunger. A hot dog wouldn't do it. Oh, uh, okay. So you wouldn't run a hundred meter race against. Me. How about for a Klondike you? bar? Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe. maybe. I do a lot of stuff for. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, uh, we have got a great show for you guys today. Guys, if this is the very first time you've listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend lots of people. So if you're one of those people who are easily offended, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Scotty likes to get a little racial on these shows. Yes, Absolutely not. Not, absolutely well, yes, not. He yeah, see, here come the jokes at me, and it's fine. <clears throat> that's not even a joke. No. That's just warning the viewers. <laughs> that's just warning. That. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, you you might learn some new slurs. Yeah, so. true. <laughs> he makes up his own words for things. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. I do. Uh, but anyways, I know we got a great show to get to. Uh, got a lot of current events that we're going to talk about, overrated or underrated. It's back. We got what would you do? And some questions and preguntas. I still want Mark Summers to do the what would you do segment. I know that would be much better if he would. Mm, it but, would be fantastic. It would. Uh, we also have some questions and preguntas. He's probably not doing much. <laughs> He's not. You know? He's sitting He's around his house. Yeah. Probably on a double dare reunion tour. Or Ex- some absolutely. Uh, the listeners of our show probably don't Dude, even know who this you is. You know, you can get Casey Kasem to do it. He's dead. No, but that means they, he's really got nothing going no, on. No, no, check it out though. They have digital. Oh, GPT chat. Yeah, no, no. yeah, uh, and it, man, it sounds just like him, and it's like fucking twenty bucks. No shit. Yeah, bro. Might, might have to do that and have him announce like like us for our show. Yeah, some, <laughs> something. something like that. Yeah, I do that Casey, shit for twenty welcome bucks. Welcome to the laughing on the sidelines podcast. Yeah, exactly. No shit. I'm Casey Gaysom. <laughs> today's ne- today's letter <laughs> comes from little Julie. <laughs> Oh, shit. But, yeah, we've got questions and preguntas, a draft, and, as always, a shitty situation. But before we get to that stuff, uh, we got to talk about what's happened to us over the last week. I've got a big one. So we're going to start No, off. you don't. Oh, yeah, I your, do. Your wife says the opposite. <laughs> well, yeah. Look at those hands. Yeah. I guarantee it's not big. Yeah. yeah, they're fucking salami fingers. Anyways, JP, what did you do over the last week, dude? 
Um, so I, uh, Thursday night, I went to a bowling league meeting. No show. Yeah, Fucking I know you guys way. are going to be shocked. I want to hear all about it. It's a good league though. It's, uh, it's, uh, Joe Rocco, you know? No, yeah, nobody on. Yeah. No, yeah. I know who Joe yeah. is. Nobody so knows. So Joe puts the league on. He puts in a bunch of extra prize money in all the best bowlers in town bowl it. I mean, it's, it's a really competitive so scratch and it's a scratch why league. Why are you in it? Right. So we got done with the meeting and then they were having a $20 sweeper. It was four games highest pinfall and i didn't have shit else to do so i bowled it and i won that son of a bitch <laughs> average, congratulations average 238 for four games yeah good for you i mean it wasn't a bunch of money and i didn't beat like there was a handful of really good bowlers so i feel good about it man i, I like don't know, i don't know why you're trying to bring me down yeah i, I, like, I like to think you won ten dollars you paid 20 70. bucks to win 10 i won seven <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I didn't you know say what? I didn't say I was gonna fucking retire, man. That's, I just said I won the tournament, that's bro. That's better than you do when you play poker. So just stick to bowling. I'm gonna stick to bowling. Yeah, okay, stick to bowling. cool. <laughs> you got it. Whenever you're ready to play some poker, man, let me know. I think I'm on the come up. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Fucking, I'm feeling good, baby. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, other it, than that, okay. Lots of pot, <laughs> and uh, that's about it, man. Some that, video games. And do you at least have some like cool brands of pot? Like I remember what they were brands when I, or <laughs> Kellogg's strains. Only, only, only <sighs> strains, is, strains is what you call okay, it. Okay, sure. I remember we'll strains. I'm being, you know, yeah. I I remember Hawaiian Gold. That's that was mine. Or uh, that's the Otis of pot. Is that? Uh, it yeah, is. yeah. I mean, yeah. totally. Uh, yeah, you know, brand loyalty for mm -hmm. sure. Right. Uh, but what are what are some of the stuff that you got now, JP? I got some stuff the other day called Soul Glow. <laughs> Soul Glow, yeah, nice. It was fucking good too. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was glowing all over this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the name of the fucking Jerry yeah. Curl shit from it's, coming to yes, America? It was. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I fucking Just remember that. Just Soul Glow. Oh, that's good shit. Uh, he got was, up from the headrest and it was just all fucking grease. <laughs> <laughs> you know who the spokesperson for that is now is actually Randy Watson. Randy Watson. <laughs> you know and gentlemen. Officer Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, if that's, that's all you did. That's, all, uh, that's uh, all I did, man. You know, just fucking. Okay. I'm a, chill, I'm a chill person. Ah, yeah, you are. That's why I love Plus, you. Plus, I hear you did enough for the, the both of us. Sounds like it. Yeah. What about you, Derek? I was busy. You weren't. Yeah, I was. No, I did. Weren't. I did some working and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yesterday, I ah, damn it! I helped a buddy move, which I don't like to do. But it's uh, nobody does, man. It's the like the one friend I would help move. Uh, he helps me with it, fucking everything. Yeah, so he does. I would. Uh, I dropped every. I dropped what I was doing. I was like, hey, I'm taking a half day. We're gonna. I'm gonna come help you move. So it's like a half day at work and. Boy, am I fucking sore. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> fuck baseball cards. <laughs> he got back into collecting baseball cards like six years ago. Ugh. And he has, he, I think we moved close to 40 boxes of them. And I don't mean like just that one little tiny box that the sets come in. No, yeah. These fuckers weighed box, like 40 yeah. pounds each. Mm -hmm. That's true. They sucked. Yeah. So moved all of his shit. He's got a fucking amazing house. He's rich as fuck. He's got two houses now. That's good for him. Yeah. I remember when you did that one time. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't rich. I was going broke paying that second <laughs> mortgage. No, that was Will of Fortune money time. No, that wasn't. That was after. Oh, okay. So, but uh, yeah, so I helped him do that. And then I did some other stuff, but I'm blanking on what I did. Yesterday, I went to a uh, a dinner with a bunch of the comics here in Wichita. Yep. So that was, uh, that was fun. One of the feature acts for the the server was a little he was a super fucking nice dude uh was kind of joking with us and he uh one of the comics i think it's the feature of the headliner for this week he told him to lay on the because everybody get by the pool table i'll take i'll take a picture because everybody kept trying to take pictures and nobody could do it because there's too many of us so he gets us over the pool table and he tells the one dude fucking with him he goes all right now lay on the pool table with a pool ball in your mouth and he did and <laughs> oh, that my. Was, there was this old lady that was like the only person there's like a group of like four and one's this really old lady the only one facing the pool table and the disturbed look on her face <laughs> <laughs> was nice. fucking priceless yes i love that shit so and right before that, I know we'll get to it, but uh, I had to stay and watch uh, Wilson Contreras' first at bat at Wrigley. Mm -hmm. So I know we'll get to that. We so will. I will not discuss that. Uh, but you did do something that affected my schedule as well. What What was that? 
So you had a friend coming to, or no, you, you haven't seen a friend in a very long time and you actually oh, yeah. went. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. For, that was the other stuff I did. Yeah. I spent the, uh, I spent a couple days with some friends that I haven't got to hang out with in a very long time. Yeah. And, uh, had a fucking amazing time over at, uh, apparently you know, I did have a good time. I could tell. They played the charades. Way, I could tell by the way you remembered it. Yeah, I dude, I fucking have drank so much in my lifetime that my brain is just smoosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not worried about yeah. his brain. I'm worried about his yeah. liver. Your, yeah. a, your ass ain't doing so hot either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's why a you, smoosh? Why are you looking? That's <laughs> what I do. I don't want to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. God, I want it to hurt. <laughs> You well, want it restrained. Then I'm going to have to get a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe toss a finger in there. Too. Oh, yeah, God. But, or a fist. Oh, man. Either way, I'm in. My, wow. little, my little Muppet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's time to talk to music. <laughs> it's time oh to God. light the lights. I do also <laughs> want to say a big thank you to a friend of mine, too. I had posted uh, the guy I went to the draft with. It's my best friend, Bo. And uh, I was on one of the Chicago pages on Facebook, and somebody had posted a picture of this uh, Cubs Maker's Mark bottle that they're selling at the liquor store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I had texted my buddy Bo, and I was like, hey, man. And I screenshot it. I said, if you see this, will you pick it up for me? Because mm-hmm. he lives up near Chicago. And he's like, yeah, no problem. 14 minutes later, I get another text message of a picture of that bottle on his fiance's lap. He went out and bought it for me. Nice. nice. 14 cool. fucking minutes. Like, dropped what he was doing. I was like, I'm going to go to the liquor store and get that real quick. Those are the those are the best friends, though, man. That is my best friend on earth. Man. I know. I know. Anybody. Yeah, if, you, if you're a good friend, that's why you go and you help him move. That's, nobody wants to fucking do that no, shit. No, Brian's the only motherfucker I'll help. I know. With. I know. Uh, and I, if you would have asked, I probably would have as well. But I was golfing. Um I no, had he moved on Monday. Uh, again, I was fucking golfing. Oh, you don't have a job anymore? No, I golfed after work. That's uh, how ridiculous I'm getting. Um, but no, I uh, just to kick off my week, um, Friday I played in a scramble. I uh, did fairly well. Did uh, you win? Uh, that, well, then you're uh, not uh, as good as I am. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll get there in a second. Okay. Uh, I also ended up playing in another, another scramble on Sunday. If you golf as much as I golf, you know that these people exist because shut the fuck up. Anyways, you know, these people exist. They go out. They don't fuck Derek. They don't fuck Derek. Fucker. What? Wake the fuck up, jackass. I slept Sorry. for years. Sorry. Uh, but no, there's always cheaters in, in scrambles. It's just, it's just a matter of fact. We posted a very good score and there were uh, in my, in my Sunday tournament, we posted a very good score. We shot a 50. Uh, I think the course was uh, 72, I rem- if I remember correctly. So 22 under. It's pretty fucking good. Um, and uh, and we it was totally legit. Totally fucking legit. But the guy who the guy's team who won, have you seen Eastbound and Down? Derek. Derek. I'm up. I'm up. Eastbound and Down. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. The, the guy in that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's uh, there were like four of those. Those are the guys who won. <laughs> yeah, Danny, Mc, Danny McBride or Danny, Kenny Powers. Kenny, Kenny Powers. fucking Powers. Kenny Powers. Okay. Four Kenny Powers uh, won the golf tournament, nice. and everybody was like, "Fuck that shit." Nice. But anyways, I do have to get uh, tip my cap because the other thing that I did on Saturday night, I had to be the uh, baseball PA for a high school baseball game here in Wichita at the minor league baseball stadium. Then that's normally Derek's job. That's what Derek is supposed to do. And uh, he couldn't make it because he had his friend thing. And I stuck up for him like a good friend should. Said, no, he hasn't seen the guy in well over you know a year and a half, two years or something like that. And, and I said, I got the phone call of, of, hey, we have nobody left to call. And I said, thanks for that. That makes me feel really good. And uh, they asked if I could do it. And I said, okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll go. And all I have to do is do a couple of reads and then announce the player's names. Right? Of course. That's what they're going to say. Yeah, yeah, that's all you got to do. Uh, did a whole bunch of reads, but and Derek can attest to this, but probably the hardest part about being a PA for a baseball game on the loudspeaker is pronouncing people's names correctly. Would you say so? Did you not get a pronunciation key? Nope. Oh, I, I, they have one for me. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I get that. Especially so. for Frank Nigro. <laughs> because 
I, that guy scared the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah. Like, I am getting fired if I fuck this up. Oh, yeah. No, they didn't give me one of those. It was really cool, though. I go, I go up into the press box and sit in the same chair and everything that Derek did. And, I, and, and when it was all said and done, I looked at it. And I and I was just like Jesus, yeah. Derek was right. He says this. He said this was going to be really easy. He even made the comment. I don't even know why they pay me, but I, I said I'd do it for free. And they uh, they said no. They like you better, so it's okay, <laughs> jackass. Uh, but no. In all seriousness, I, there was two players for Derby High School. That one was not my fault. One was not my fault. So somebody hand wrote the kid's name on the lineups. And that kid's name was uh, Roman Bowden, but she spelled it R A M O N. So for four innings, I call this Raymond. poor kid, yeah, Ramon. 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 I call the dude Even Ramon Bowden for four innings. So I felt bad. And I have one of those names too. My last name, nobody could pronounce it. And it meant something to me to have somebody actually pronounce it right. So Dick Licker. I felt bad. Yeah. That's not that hard. Yeah, McFuck like, stick's kind of hard. It's, it's, hard. it's got a silent PH. Uh, but anyways, the last one though was... Stolen Irish Valor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The five foot seven kind of redheaded, you know, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Uh, that's me. Uh, but no, the last one was totally my fuck up. It was totally my fuck up. And I didn't know I had to figure it out for myself because I would pronounce it incorrectly when the kid was up at the plate and you could just hear the parents mocking me like rooting on this kid and kind of like, like sarcastically yeah. kind of did, putting it on. So I feel terrible, but nobody told me I had to figure this out for myself and uh, the kid's name, his first name is R O W A N. What do you? R O W A N. Rowan. Okay. Yeah. That's what a normal piece of. A person would a would normal piece of shit. <laughs> normal, what a normal piece, normal normal piece of shit would say, but I'm yeah. no normal piece of shit. You know, I'm an extraordinary <laughs> piece of shit. You know, that's what a normal. <laughs> that's what a normal piece of shit would say. I am a this stupid is, piece of shit. Scott, Scotty's no normal piece of shit. He's an extraordinary <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. It's fucking fantastic. That's the funniest thing you've said on this show. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. You know, I'm on a fucking roll. I'm yeah, winning yeah, bowling yeah, tournaments. I'm saying you're, funny you're, shit. You're killing Holy it. Mo, you're I'm killing, killing it. it. I'm killing it. No, this this dude's name was, uh, his name is Rowan Foster. But for four and a That's half. That's a tough one. Oh, no. For four and a half <laughs> innings, I pronounced this guy. Rowan. No. Rowan. Rowan. <laughs> I pronounced Rowan. it. So here's his fucking Dude, parents. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't wait for you after the game and beat your ass. Five, <laughs> five foot eight white kid. Just I'm just just blo I'm just oh. butchering the shit out of it. And I, and I can I said Rowan and and you can just hear all of the parents in the box. Come on, Rowan. Like just like that. I'm like, oh son of a bitch. So I made every announcement after I figured it out. I was like Rowan, like with a high pitch so uh, i like smart, i, I smart. fixed it kind that of thing way, you're right that way they know you're a fucking, so i do apologize yeah. to those kids but sorry about that rowan congratulations you now have a nickname in high school that you will never get rid of so you can enjoy that by the way uh we are having the uh, the korean league here for one game and not <laughs> yeah. if you would PA. Dude, yeah if you would pa for that that'd be great <laughs> fuck off <laughs> absolutely not you'll probably get more of those right uh probably <laughs> probably would yeah now batting squiggly line dad <laughs> squiggly <Two> line <laughs> <laughs> oh shit what do they call what do they call the things over the o or what would i have, I have no I idea no farfignugan <laughs> 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 yes so i did that uh and i had a lot of fun it was a really good time we, it was a lot of camaraderie up there so that was fun but probably the funniest and coolest thing that i did over the weekend uh before i went to that baseball game i had a special celebrity of people that listen to this show i had jeremy joseph over to the house to do some uh video stuff for porn they were doing, <laughs> they were doing porn. porn yeah <laughs> Not exactly on the up and up. We haven't got the page started yet. <laughs> yeah, There's but, no permits uh, that have been pulled. <laughs> yeah, only hands is waiting for this shit to drop. No, uh, no, he came over and did a couple of stuff so we can have like a video of the first pitch that he's going to do at Riverfront Stadium on the 19th, uh, which was absolutely hysterical. And I've got to put it together, but I'm not going to put it together until the actual game. So I'm really excited to put it together, but 
all of those people that listen to the show, I really want to see you out at the game. This is going to be fucking hilarious. I do have a, I think a promotion that I may put in there before, but the, the gist of it will come out after the fact. And I think uh, it'll be fun. And then Jeremy will be on the show following that to talk about it, which will be really fucking cool. So I'm excited about that, but it was absolutely fucking hilarious and I can't wait for everybody to see it. So, uh, but yeah, that was my really, really awesome. long now, uh, fucking Now that week. the show's fucking halfway over. No, it's, it wasn't that bad, was it? Yeah, it wasn't not bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking into some new bindings for my snowboard. Oh, no, you should I'm definitely. Fucking, I'm just I mean, kidding. Geez, those things I'm are old kidding. news now. Nah, they're still sweet. Uh, but no, that was my week. I hope everybody had an excellent week. Um, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to get to. I say that very sarcastically. Um, but before we do that, you're, you're supposed to just say it sarcastically. You don't have to explain. We got a lot to of stuff to stuff. get through. That was my voice over the that PA. Was, that Sounded was good. like shit. But here comes Bob. It was Bob. very uh, fucking uh, extraordinary. Uh, what's, his, what's his name? Uh, I don't know. Bob Yo is very Bob Euchre. Oh, Bob Euchre. Oh, fuck. Yeah. If I get a compliment like that, I will take it all day. Bob More Euchre's like the Bob goat. Puker. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! And the, and one of the guys running it kept on going. Okay, the home team is this, so you want to put like some more oomph into it. So all I could think of was how you do somebody with putting the ah! in it, like the extra crunch. <laughs> that's how I do people all that's the time. You, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> I'm like, ah, take my seed. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Coming out with a new uh, goat uh, song, but no, it was like Dave Martin, you know, shit like that. And they were like, Oh, you were? Yeah, you yeah, thought you, you were sounded, announcing the WWE? Fuck yeah, yeah, I did. So I know I sounded like shit, but every single one of them. Day. Yeah, exactly. Brock! Lester! <laughs> 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 and they're like, yeah, yeah, you did a great job. I'm like, bull fucking shit. Yeah. But anyways. That's nice of them to lie to you. Yeah, it was really nice to, for them to lie to me. But anyways, I had a great time. Uh, but now we get to move on to the other part, uh, or the other parts of the show. Uh, before we do that, I, we uh, try to give a shout out to them every single time. But now you can actually see who is behind BattlecornCarePackages.com. Hi everybody, my name is Curtis, and my family and I run Battlecorn Care Packages, a nonprofit organization that sends care packages to children battling cancer. In 2021, we began this organization when our daughter, JC, was diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer. Today, we run it in her honor. In addition to that, we also host events throughout the year to raise money and awareness for pediatric cancer research. On August 26th in Appleton, Wisconsin, we will be hosting our second annual Gold Time Masquerade, where we will be donating 100% of the proceeds to the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation with a goal of $25,000. All of the information, including donor, sponsorship, and ticket sales can be found on our website at battlecorncarepackages.com. Thank you, and we hope to see you there. Okay, if you guys do us a favor, go and check out Curtis at battlecorncarepackages.com. We sincerely appreciate everything that they're doing, so thank you very much. Go check them out. Okay, now we get to, we can get to the current events. There was a couple of things that dropped direct. I mean, like fucking immediately the day after we got done with the show that everybody kept on. You need to talk about this. Well, no shit. We record on a certain day. If shit comes out later, we, we got to wait. We got to wait, dog. So uh, obviously it was it was kind of a happy thing, I think, for all of us, at least. Uh, Jackson Mahomes got arrested. For- According to my Uber driver, he's a deke. <laughs> he's a fucking deke. He is a, a fucking deek. dick. Oh uh, man, I don't care if he's extraordinary dick. He's he's an extraordinary dick. <laughs> there you I go. I bet he has an extraordinary dick. I don't know. <laughs> I tall doubt fellow it. He, like that. He's oh. had some pretty short shorts on. And I don't care. I'd like to. Down. I'd like to find out. I'll Did you, you see what. him walking out of prison? No, but I was not sure prison, but jail. I mean, no. There was there was the video of him walking out of jail. And accompanied, obviously, by bodyguards, like you, you should. Like you should be if you're him. And he was like the most emotionless stare, but he was walking kind of funny, and I was just wondering if he just oh, got the shit God. kicked out of I him in the holding cell. I never wanted to be in cell. jail so bad in all my life. <laughs> what if, oh, my God. What if he's like the – he went to jail and he came out straight? That would be <laughs> uh, uh, – Wow. It would be pretty tough, man, but – Maybe yeah, I mean jail might if if anything's gonna do it jail might do it yeah. that's it. Here's the thing I like about being gay and not in jail. 
the choices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jim, sure they're better. Not so many choices, probably. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, that can, I don't know, but like I'll tell you what. Sex, there's like video evidence, and I'm glad that there's video evidence because he, he'd probably get off. He'd get away with it if, if, if oh. there wasn't. He's probably still going to get yeah, away with it. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't uh, think that's going to change. I don't know. I, I don't know. He's going to have to pay a bunch of money, which he'll borrow from Pat. Well, yeah. he's probably got plenty of money on his own. Probably. Yeah. So yeah. Whatever. I, I'm man. betting that. Like, Who when cares? do you think? think the allowance money from patrick mahomes like stops like you could you might be surprised bag. you might be surprised how much money he makes on his own uh maybe and i don't i don't care like like i know i'm I, just saying he probably makes more money than you the, i know he's got two pair of bindings the, yeah no shit <laughs> this is the point this is a point the point where i think like you need to cut somebody off from a relationship at this point yeah. you were a such a douchebag yeah bag. man that's okay it's still his little brother bro you got to respect him for sticking by him. I mean, like, I, I'm the opposite of you. I don't think you have everything in life. You have more money than you'll ever spend, than your kids will ever spend, than your relatives will ever spend. Me? No. Oh. If you're Patrick Mahomes, okay. you can't cut him off. Oh, man. I'd cut him off. You can't cut him out. Nah. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, nah. like. There, He'd have a- to divorce his wife. I'd fucking pay him. He's worse than he is. I mean, both of them. I would have. I would have done it a long time ago. I'd pay him to move to Guam. Oh fuck! <laughs> Just get the fuck out. Get of the fuck. Like get out of here. Like uh, like Mad Money Mike, his parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They gave him a million bucks in the house and said, "Don't follow us." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. I mean, but this is where you live now. We're going to leave. But I mean, like even yes. Kansas City fans who are loyal to Patrick Mahomes are even just like this fucking yeah, it guy. It is what it is, man. And uh, and so yeah, I, I I hope he gets the full the full like ch- all the charges and everything like that. And yeah, he'll probably be able to pay off whatever he can. But I hope he gets absolutely punched in the in the gut for this one. And I hope he's not allowed in certain bars because of it. So that's what I hope. So that's our uh, piece on that. A little bit dated, but that's okay. Uh, now let's move on to the NBA playoffs. Unfortunately, the Los Angeles Lakers are beating the Golden State Warriors three to one. Yep. Yeah, they're going to win that series for uh, sure. I, I'm guessing they probably will, which really sucks because I'm really pulling for Golden State. However, I did see something I never have noticed before. Did you know LeBron has a tattoo on his side? I mean, he has a shitload of tattoos, but it says loyalty on it. Yeah, uh-huh. I've got one over here. It says skinny. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. And I've got one over here that says, says I love pussy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, he's so he's yeah. loyal. He's loyal to the money, baby. Oh, I don't even know if it's that. Uh, loyalty is definitely not what I would consider LeBron James at anything in particular. JP just got a full back piece of snatch. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Absolutely. 70s porn snatch, too. Yeah, not yeah. Like, yeah the, not like not like modern shave snatch. No, yeah. no, bush. It's all just bush. All bush. <laughs> it wraps around all my ribs. Unshaven. Yeah. They that lost was, the lawnmower. That hurts. Yeah, but <laughs> it sure does. You ever tattoo pussy hair on your ribs, you would know. It hurts. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah. Fucking the thing that, would, that made me kind of laugh, because uh, I've been watching this series, as uh, I can't remember what game it was. I think it was game one or game three. Where Jordan Poole fires up a, a fucking like thirty footer mm-hmm. to try and go ahead at the end of the game, and Steph has just got his fucking head down. Like, why did you shoot that shot? And then last night, Steph fires a fucking thirty footer to try and take the lead at the end of the game, and it's like, why did you shoot that fucking shot? Because so, he's Steph Curry. He's Steph Curry. Ah, That's why. That was a bad shot. Who's better at basketball, Steph Curry or LeBron James? Who would you rather have on your team? I would rather have Steph Curry. Okay. That, that pretty well, much could. answers the press or the question. No, it didn't. It just, I think so. No, like if you if you if you look at if who, you want to win, who would you rather have on your team? Steph Curry, probably yeah, Curry. I would have Curry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really would. You guys are just LeBron haters. But I, no, because LeBron's gonna tra- leave you in shambles yeah. after he's gone. Yeah. Where Steph Curry is like had played with a lot of this. He's played with Thompson forever. He's mm-hmm. played been on the same fucking teams as he was drafted. Yeah. He needs a tattoo that says loyalty team ring chaser <laughs> yeah. right on the side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, so I really hope the Golden State Warriors come back, but I don't see it happening. Especially, I saw this. There was a statistic that was uh, the the Lakers have a total of eighty three free throws in the three games that they played. Golden State has thirty nine. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That, that is not a winning kind of yeah, sketchy. So it's rigged, right? It's right. a WWE oh, put. For yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, my they, God. They want LeBron to rigged. win. Basketball was the first one that was rigged. And Probably. Then, then the NFL jumped on board. Next will be the MLB. I don't know how you do that, but go for it. 
soccer, yeah. I think, was the first one. Didn't they? Uh, was that they, big they, FIFA scandal? Yeah, that was that yeah, big that FIFA right. scandal. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, but no, now we're in the playoffs. We have two sports that are going on in the playoffs. So we have the NHL and we have the NBA that are going on. Baseball season has officially started. We're in the off season for the NFL. If you were to rank your playoffs that you enjoy watching the most, oh, easy is hockey. Okay, for you, all right. Yeah. But but one through four in your in your order, who what would you pick? So hockey. you got hockey one, NFL, NFL two. Honestly. Baseball, yeah, okay, and then the NBA, and I then hate the, the NBA, fucking NBA, okay, but I love college basketball. Uh, that doesn't I mean, count. Yeah, yeah, it, it's gonna go away in a little bit. I hate yeah. the NBA. Yeah. It's getting ready to go away. The college one is. How about you, Derek? What's yours? Uh, baseball, okay, NBA, really? hockey, NFL. R- Wow. Well, now, well now, now, now he yeah. thinks it's fake. So, right. uh, yeah. It's all rigged. Well, okay, watch this. Watch this. The Chicago Bears end up making it to the NFC Championship, go to the Super Bowl, and Derek is going to, like, actually watch and root for him and stuff. I'm probably still going to watch the NFL, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to fucking put money on it, and I'm not going to be nearly as invested as I was. Too bad. Too bad. So, I'll still probably watch it. I watch the Bears. That's probably about it. Where I used to watch okay. all the fucking games, I'll watch the Bears, and then that's it. I have a very close one too. I uh, very close. I'm very very much into the NFL, but I I love October baseball. There's just something about it that's just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, then I would go football, and then I would go hockey, and then I would go soccer, and then I would go golf, and then maybe I don't at the think golf has a playoff. Yeah, they pretty, yeah they do. Yeah, if you're tied at the end, we just pick the top four or something. If you're tied at the end, and then ski ball, if and then you're, if you're tied at the end of eighteen, you have a playoff, and so that counts. And then at the very very bottom is the NBA, so they can suck it. You remember at the beginning of the show when I said this might get like Scotty likes to get a little racial. Yes, this, here is, it where, comes. this is kind of what it's oh, about. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. He hates the NBA because it's mm-hmm. yeah. No, no, I they got it. white guys. Luca, Luca, fucking pushed the uh, owner of the. They got white guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pushed the owner of the Suns. Name the other one night. more. Uh, uh, Steve Kerr. Too late. He was a coach. He was a coach. Man. <laughs> He's a. He was a player. Twenty years ago. Okay, and so <laughs> that's how long it's been since I've watched the NBA. Yeah, he's I mean, Jerry West. He's the logo. Jerry West. Jerry West. <laughs> no, it's John great. Stockton, Jeff Hornacek. These are just jazz players. You want to keep on going? Gone. Some of the most underrated player of all time is John Stockton and Larry Bird. Duh. Okay. Anyways, moving on. So we're going to get to baseball. Obviously I'm decked out in my St. Louis shit, right? We suck. I know we suck and I'm okay. It's hard to watch him and root for him and all this shit, but I'm still going to support my team. I do feel like a Kansas City Royals fan for the very first time in a long time. It sucks. But, uh, but yeah, we got to see Wilson Contreras get uh, get a warm welcome back home for his first game back at Wrigley as a Cardinal. Not quite a warm welcome. Ah, there's people that cheer. They made a he, video for him. The video got some cheers. Yeah. And then as soon as he got to the plate, yeah. they booed the fuck out of him. And yeah. I am very proud of Boo. my Cub fans. Yes. So I'm, here's the difference between a Cub fan and a Cardinal fan. And that's why I like being a Cardinal <laughs> fan difference. better than a Cub. No, no bullshit. No okay. bullshit. Let's so um, there was a player that played for both teams recently, uh, and uh, he was a Cardinal first. And then he went to the, the Chicago Cubs, and um, he was in the dugout, gave a huge speech, and then the Cubs won the World Series. Remember who that was? Hayward. Sure was. And you know what they did for him whenever he came back to St. Louis? I know he got a bunch of uh, messages and hate mail calling him the n-word from st louis fans i know that, that happened be, so and i think that that probably <laughs> happens to everybody but whenever he came up to bat 90 percent of them were no. from scotty yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ouch guaranteed <laughs> right uh no for most of them he for, doesn't say the n-word the but stick, he writes it real well no i don't <laughs> at the end, at the basically at the beginning of the game, in his first at bat, Yachty went out and stopped the game, and everybody gave him a, a round of applause. And I think that all players get shit like that and shit mail from stupid fans. It just I see that more coming from Cub side than I do Cardinal side. That's just me. He also didn't talk a whole bunch of shit after he left, like Contreras did. I don't care. So I think you still. I think we were all okay with Contreras. Like I, I, we didn't like. I think it. you. I think you should put on a Cub shirt. And he should wear a St. Louis shirt, and you guys should just fight <laughs> <laughs> he would to lose. the death. Um, I don't know. I don't fight fair. But uh, 
Yeah, Contreras talked a whole bunch of shit, and that's whenever Cub fans were like, fuck him. Okay. So that's pretty much what happened. And, and that's fine. I, I still think uh, for all of you Cubs fan that gave him a warm welcome, good for you. You're a good Cubs fan. For all of you that booed, way to fucking go. I'm proud <laughs> way of you. to fucking go. So I, I would have threw that first pitch right at his fucking dome. Right at his fucking dome. <laughs> Secretly, we're all petty. Uh, but anyways, uh, that happened, and uh, the Cardinals got a W out of the whole deal. So wow. first series first opener series. winner. Wow. First series opener nice. win of the season. What a deal. God, they're terrible. Uh, but there was some funny funny business that ended up happening. Uh, Akil Badu, uh, he got caught skeel- uh, stealing second base. Uh, he's a uh, he plays for the Detroit Tigers, and uh, he was stealing second base uh, against the Cleveland Guardians. And was thrown out at second base, but it was kind of weird how it happened, right? Yeah, he, he got get, nailed right in the crotch. He did baby. get nailed right in the cock, and uh, you thought that by the video evidence, it didn't look like he was wearing. So a here's cup. the thing: I would say no, he wasn't wearing a cup because it didn't like bounce off; it absorbed, <laughs> and that is not what you want to see when you're getting hit in the nuts with a ball. Is the absorption rate? Right. That's the it's new not, memory foam cup. Yeah, yeah. it's not, yeah, right. <laughs> They're much more comfortable. They're much more comfortable. It's like wearing a mattress on your dick. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. right. So, uh, but no, but yeah. Dude, that looked like it hurt. There is a reason why they teach you whenever you are in high school and to even slide younger. Head first. You slide head first into second base. So you, you don't get hit in the fuck. cock, you idiot. It's just more than that. There's a lot of it. The only time you slide in with your spikes up in second base is if you're trying to take out a double play. That's the only real time you want to slide in cleats up. Which is against the rules now. Is it really? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, you can't, can't do that anymore. Yeah. Oh, that's you can't like bullshit. to try to break up the double play. That's interference, and you're out. Oh, that's not fun anymore. That's stupid. There's a lot of baseball that's not fun anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. But uh, but no, it was it was pretty uh, spectacular. They ended up actually throwing him out because it bounced off his cock into the glove, and so yeah, it was dude, technically he still got out. That's the worst out. part. He so. got fucking railed, and man, still got out. <laughs> that's the worst that's the shitty one-two combo, <laughs> no man. Kidding. That's the worst. Worst dude perfect strike him out. Throw him <laughs> yeah, out yeah. <laughs> the dude perfect guys are like, yeah, yeah, what a woo! shot. And the dude's like, finally, <laughs> my yeah. balls hurt. <laughs> I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is stealing second base. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, but yeah, hope he's okay. Uh, <laughs> He's uh, fine. He he's, can't have children. He's, but he's fine. fine. I've uh, got one. Yeah, I know. You do have one. Yeah. Uh, Glenn Kuyper. Channeled, oh, yeah. He, uh, channeled, channeled, channeled his, his inner Scotty German. Yeah. Yes, he did. That's yeah, what I was going to say. Nice. Uh, he People is, are going to really think that th- this, so I don't like this one bit. I No. He, uh, yeah. is, he is suspended. Uh, he is the A's broadcaster <laughs> and went to... The Royals game, and they have uh, art like a bunch of great barbecue places in Kansas City, which is what Kansas City is famous for. And they also have the or the Negro League Hall of Fame, which yeah. if you've never been, is actually really cool. It it's fucking really, awesome. It is, it is awesome. Uh, I it's agree. A, it's a small venue, but. I think it's I spent cool. like three and a half hours yeah, in there. Like a it's a lot of cool. You go around and you read everything yeah, if you're you a baseball fan. Sure. You really do. Um, Scotty has a different name for it, which is the same name that Glenn Kuyper has. <laughs> And uh, he is now suspended. Uh, I'm not going to say what he said. Just Google Glenn, (laughs) G-L-E-N, K-U-I-P-E-R, and you can see what he called that museum. (laughs) Very nonchalantly. Yeah, like he says it all the time. That's the thing I was like, (laughs) look, you don't just slip up and say that unless you say it all the time. Yeah. He could have used a pronunciation key. Yes, yes he could have. <laughs> it was yeah. not Ramon. It yeah. was not Rowan. It wasn't. Yeah. It really wasn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's bad. I'm surprised that he, he actually uh, got caught doing that, considering nobody fucking listens to the uh, Oakland A's broadcast. Okay. But it's on video. <laughs> there, yeah. But they were did. listening that day. They sure yeah. were. <laughs> and if they're not anymore, they are listening yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Glenn Ron Burgundy Kuiper. That <laughs> <is>. <laughs> yeah. What if that actually is what happened? Like after just, the thing, he's like, that was a great episode. Yeah, that yeah, that was, good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was a good pregame. I Where'd guess he, he ended up at, like apologizing on air is what I heard. Is that right? Uh, I don't know that part. Okay, I heard. I heard. I turned I heard. it off after he called it. <laughs> like you yeah. don't just get away. I was like, with well, that. I don't need to watch that anymore. <laughs> no, I, I like how they said that it's under investigation. Like, what is there to investigate? <laughs> did he? Did he say it? 
Yep. yep. All right. Okay. Is it on video? Yep. yep. Okay. <laughs> Case closed. Yeah. I'd say uh, Scooby Doo episodes yeah. are, fat, are longer than that. That's like, true. That's, not even a Scooby snack needed. Right? No, no. So. Like Soiks, it was Old Man Kuiper with the <laughs> <end> bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Uh, so. <laughs> and I would have gotten away for it, <laughs> with it, too, if it weren't for you damn Middle kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, but anyways, that is our current events for this week. Unless anybody, if you got anybody, anything else. No. Nah. I didn't think so. Uh, but, yeah, that uh, that's our current events. And uh, now we get to have fun. Right? That's what the show's all that's about. That's right. Let's do it. Let's have some Let's fun. Have some I've been fun. waiting for 20 yeah. minutes now. Let's go. Uh, that was the wrong button, but who cares? Uh, so we're going to kick this off with overrated or underrated. Uh, again, guys, if you have any suggestions for this, you can send them to us now at Twitter. Uh, on Twitter, we are L-O-T-S. So L-O-T, what? L-O-T. The very first one, man. I don't read these ahead of time. I know you okay. don't. That's man. why I said The very first one is it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Hold on. Let us get there. You can message us at L-O-T sidelines, or you can send them to us on Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. So... First one, because we're, we're saying... We're going to get letters. No, I know we are. We're going to say that one for last is okay. what we're going to do. So anyways, yeah. uh, we're going to go to overrated or underrated 23 and Me DNA tests. I'm going to say very overrated. They're really? not all inclusive. Well, I think they need some for Down syndrome kids and call them 24 and Me. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I think, That's true. I think we got to include everyone. Wow. Yes. Okay. So get on it. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm the anti Glenn Kuiper. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, so I, I am going to include say, everyone. Yeah, right. I, I'm going to say these are actually underrated. I think this is actually uh, pretty awesome because they are now like selling your information to shit, uh, to other companies. And this is actually exactly how, uh, a couple of serial killers have been caught. So, uh, yeah, we put a lot of people behind bars because of places like this. So if, uh, you know, you're one of those guys, don't get one of those tests or let your kids get one of those tests. Why Scotty yeah. hadn't gotten one? Uh, I have had one, actually. So, fuck you. Oh, did you get a 24 in me? Yeah, I, 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 I guarantee he was, a, he was on the meta. meta. I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. Like, he, got a, he got his results, and they sent him back the extra chromosome. They're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, you, you accidentally uh, got this one You accidentally got this one in there. Take that back. Thanks, guys. Uh, how about you, uh, JP? I say overrated. Really? Yeah. Why? Yeah, because why? I don't know. Because it, it has a lot of information. Like Yeah, so that they can sell it to the Russians. Uh, I mean, why, why would the Russians the care about thing. us? <clears throat> what? Uh, were you not alive in the 80s, man? Yeah, I was. Okay, they're still coming for us. Uh, they're, um, just, they're just waiting for China to get pissed off enough to come, too. Okay. You'll see. All right. Yeah, we'll see. You'll see, man. Okay, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Parkour. Underrated. What? Absolutely. Fat people doing parkour is hysterical. <laughs> oh, Derek. Oh, man. man. I can just imagine you on a trampoline. No, this I go off great. curbs and stuff. I'm sure you oh, do. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. When I'm drunk, I slam into walls. I'm like, parkour. Yeah. Uh, I can just. Can you imagine like Derek? Like, I want to friendly Spider-Man. Like, like that would be fucking just great. Fucking swinging building to building on a web. Oh yeah, or or just that. trying to run up a wall or something. Like, yeah, do I anything can, I can athletic do whatsoever. I can, do that. I can do that with enough alcohol. I can yeah, do anything. Yeah, yeah I gotta give you a fucking helmet before you do. But uh, other than is that, your pussy eating helmet. Yep, that's uh, the yeah, one. I was gonna say, <laughs> just let him use yours. There's a lot of padding in there, so yeah, it'd be helpful for you. I want right to do on. that in the middle of a DUI test. Like if I start to <laughs> parkour, I'll kick off the cops thing yeah. because I'm trying to walk a line. Could I do that if I was drunk? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> oh, parkour. Is Who's serving. drunk now? At this at this point, Derek's getting tased on the hood of a fucking cop car. Is what's happening. Going, this is parkour. Parkour. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> Uh, th this is like, this is kind of like a both for me. Anybody I see doing it seriously and not getting hurt is overrated. But yeah, anybody that's doing it seriously and getting seriously injured is underrated as fuck. So, uh, that's mine. How about you, JP? I think it, it's both. It's yeah. overrated for the people that are just running through a park or running through what, but the, these guys that are doing it on the top of fucking like major skyscrapers. Oh, they can and kiss my dude, fucking ass. That's uh, underrated. I, oh, and they fall. No. It I, happens. Yeah. One they, the, yeah, one they of died. The, yeah. There was a guy in uh, Kuala Lumpur that was doing it on their towers and whatnot oh, and just that. fucking. 
And no Kuala Lumpur. That guy. Yeah, that he, he, fell for, he fell for, for a really a long, long time. Yeah, he, did. <laughs> he did. That's the tallest building yes. in the world yeah. right now. So he, uh, he, <laughs> he, he didn't down. make it. Parkour! Yeah. Hardcore parkour! <laughs> All I can think of is the office space video wherever <laughs> Andy jumps off into the fucking thing. I, I don't know. That's all I can think of. Uh, next one we're going to go to, overrated or underrated, laughing gas. Oh, way underrated. Really? Have you seen Little Shop of Horrors? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what you can do with laughing gas? You can kill a motherfucker with some laughing gas. You can. And he will laugh about it the whole time. <laughs> Have you ever had laughing gas, though? Yeah. Have you? It's great. Does it make you laugh? It doesn't make me laugh, but it makes me really relaxed. It kind of, it makes me. It, it smells, makes me kind of yeah, loopy. Okay, it's, it smells like bubble gum, first off. Oh, well, it can smell like a lot of things. I'm sure it can, but like the but, one that I had, yeah, it smelled gum. like bubble gum. Cool. And the only thing was, is just everything was kind of tingly. Like you almost feel like yeah. you're stoned. Yeah, it, but, right. But it didn't, it didn't make like me laugh. Like I said, underrated. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, way underrated. It's fucking yeah. fun. So I'll it's take great. that. How about you, Derek? Underrated as well. Uh, yay drugs. <laughs> yay drugs. I mean, so, yeah. yeah. What your teachers and parents say, fuck that. Just totally forget about and it. And anytime yeah. I fucking rip one, I mean, that's laughing gas to me, too, because I always <laughs> laugh after. I always laugh afterwards. <laughs> okay. And I look at my wife after I like let a really loud one, and I just go, I might have just let a teeny little <laughs> fart. <laughs> and no. Uh, all right. Uh, next one, Matt, my last two favorite ones. Next one, overrated or underrated being the person no one will put on speakerphone. I'm that guy. That's exactly that is, who I am too. I am. Yeah, that is underrated. Oh, I fucking underrated. hate being on speakerphone, Me but I too. talk to everyone on yeah. speakerphone. That's kind of the thing, uh, with you is you don't even have to put you on speakerphone. Everybody can hear you from across the room. Even if you're not, I'm loud as fuck. You are. Um, but yeah, I love being that guy. And if you're new to my people uh, and don't know, don't put me on speakerphone. Yeah, bad idea. They, Laughing gas. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. They learned that up in the booth. At, on, <laughs> they they learned that up in the PA booth and the at the press box over the weekend because I thought somebody put me on speakerphone. It was not speakerphone. They put me on the walkie-talkie and pushed the button, and I said something that you really shouldn't say. So don't do that. Yeah, Glenn Kuyper. Glenn, Actually, yeah, that's yeah, where, where do you think Glenn Kuyper yeah, picked yeah. it up from? No, not that. So uh, something else. Uh, but anyways, how about you? We both said underrated. Oh, did you all say underrated? Yeah, we all said underrated. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, I was, uh, we're in agreement I was, on this I was, one, Scotty. I was ignoring you. God damn, so, water brain, weird. man. Okay, that's fine. Weird. And last but certainly not least, over oh, there they just showed the clip of him getting hit in the nuts. Oh yeah. Oh, there's no cup there. Ooh. That's there's no cup there, buddy. I don't know. No. Uh, especially here's the other thing. You Even can if see you, it flex. That's like, all, that's the pant. The though. reverb. It's the pant. Mm, you know. <laughs> I've seen a lot of reverb in my days, Scotty. JP's like, I can see the ridge of his dickhead yeah, when he was sliding. I can see I can totally see the ridge of his dickhead. <laughs> Here's the other thing. If he was wearing a cup, it doesn't matter. It, doesn't, it still it's hurts still, like yeah. a motherfucker. So anyways. Anywho. Uh, all right. My favorite one. Last but not least. Overrated or underrated. Handicap cage fighting. Overrated. What? Because there's no need for the cage. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, why the cage? That seems just like fucking just that's not cool man oh no you don't need the cage the ropes will get into the ropes are gonna do the job no they're no. not going nowhere just Come surround on. It with stairs I, yeah just surround it with stairs i don't even need I, you're right i don't even need the cage I, no. I, but, but but the cage the cage just handicapped kids fighting is underrated dude i, see, I just think the cage is overkill i see some kids uh or people doing some serious wrestling moves off of the top of the cage. So okay. that's why yeah. I want the cage. How do they get the wheelchair up there? Ramps. You got to have ramps. <laughs> you got ramps all the way it's to got, the top of the cage. That it cage just, has got to be ADA certified. <laughs> that's true. Good call. That, that's his finisher right yeah. there. Yeah. It's like a swanton okay. bomb that with the. That is not uh, his finisher. That's not? No. Oh, no, no. I don't know. That takes, that takes no. some. Okay. Maybe it's, not. It's the rear naked spoke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so terrible. 
Oh, Lord. Uh, we're going to get letters. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's like a gravity chair bomb or something. Oh, I don't know. man. <laughs> oh, How do they get up there? <laughs> ramps. Yeah, but that takes a lot of strength. I don't know. They got a whole bunch of ramps around there. Oh, but no, so Maybe the electric oh, wheelchairs. Yeah, we're talking right? about the power oh, wheelchairs okay. at this particular time. Absolutely. Oh, shit. They're like, it's, so it's basically battle bots. <laughs> 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 Oh my God. <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> <Holy> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! You went there, god damn! Huh. Okay. We're gonna get letters. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, poor kids. We're obviously joking about everything. <laughs> Wow. Except Scotty's extra chromosome <laughs> and blatant racism. No, not that one. That one is a joke, and I don't like that joke right now. Okay, that was overrated or underrated. Uh, now, now we're going to move on to what would you do? Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. Huh. First one. You are talking to someone you want to impress, and they have terrible breath. I would not try to impress them anymore. <laughs> that you would, would, you'd that would get be out? the end of it. Well, yeah. It was like a job interview is like I was thinking. Don't care. Don't care? No, if I got to see that guy every day, fuck it. Nope. Oh man, I, there's a there's, so, there's a there's a there's a money thing that's involved here. There's a money thing for everything. Sure, but would you get paid? Let's let's say double what you're currently triple what you're currently making smell that shit every day oh yeah no fuck no. okay so i smoke a lot of pot yeah i mean i brush my teeth but probably you know i just smoke a lot of cigarettes and a lot of pot you don't have bad breath doctor. okay but here's the thing i know a couple buddies of mine that you literally when they talk to me yeah i <clears throat> i hold my breath or i i turn away because their breath smells so fucking bad but i haven't told them yeah how do you do how do you do that how do you tell somebody that you that's know a good one question. of them you know oh, one no. of them real real well you have to tell me off, off air I yeah wanna, I wanna i'll tell you this. but but i oh, think you'll as soon as i say it, you're gonna be like oh and then you're gonna feel bad <sighs> because i feel bad but you can't keep talking about this say, and not tell us God. yeah no, it's, the, not, fuck, it's not it's not scotty you. it's not his me. breath doesn't stink his asshole does though <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit comes out of there of course yeah but no anyway uh i See, and I, the, it, the, what I'm thinking of is the gingivitis kind of breath, bad like, breath. Just don't it's take not care, the smoke. Yeah, yeah it's just you. not take care of it. And everybody knows what that smells like. Right. It's awful. These are, that's these two people. Oh, it's awful. Oh, it's, bad. it's so yeah, fucking it's bad. It's so bad. And I, I am not shy of, of saying that because well, you then, don't. I'm going to have you. Yeah, I will totally do it. All but, right. and, like, hey, and it's this not is that my I'm friend being Scotty he has something to tell you. And it's not like I'm trying to be heartless to the motherfucker, but at the same time, it's right. You it, want him to know. I want right? him to know. But it's just like, yeah. hey, dude. Here's I'm always a afraid that I'm going to tell him, and they're going to be like, yeah, I know, it's a condition. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I try, I try <laughs> my hardest to. Oh, you know what I mean? No, but but I mean, like, they would probably. I, I think if your heart is in the right spot, they're going to appreciate. It. It's like, dude, if you here's a breath mint, it, it's not good. It's like if you, it's not me. I don't care. Probably, I love you no matter what. Here's a roll of breath mints. You should probably just keep <laughs> eating these. That's, that's how. Here's a Listerine strip. Here, yeah. Have the you whole. Know, here's thing. a whole bottle of Listerine. Yeah, no shit. Well, you want to have a Listerine chugging contest? One, two, three, go! Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit there. Yeah. Damn, you win. You act, win. act like it, and the yeah. pr first prize gets another <laughs> bottle of Listerine. <laughs> Uh, but no, especially if I was like, if it was a job interview and I was going to make a lot more money, I, I could get through it. And I think I would eventually get to the point where I was close enough with that person that I'd be like, Hey dog, let me break something down to you and then go with it. And I, and I think it'd be from the very first day we met your, your breath, breath smelled smells like, like shit. shit. I know I'm getting so. ready to retire now, but. <laughs> but there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, next one. What would you do? You get a note from your neighbor politely requesting you to close your windows when you cook meat because they are vegan, and it makes them feel ill. I would be like, that's not meat I'm cooking. <laughs> oh, what is it cooking? That's Meth? anal sex. Oh, that's disgusting. That's, that ain't meat. We're also oh, vegetarian. Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, are you really vegetarian? I mean, 
No, but I uh, okay. I don't eat a lot of meat. Okay. Like I'll eat hamburgers is the most. I like a steak. I can't tell you the last time I had a steak. No, I don't have any ideas. Oh my years, God. years you and are years. Not American. Yeah, um, all right. No, this is like the catch twenty two because they're they're being are they being passive aggressive? Not really. They're they it sounds like they're being nice and asking. Uh, what would you do? I would just tell them to close their own fucking windows. That's kind of way I was kind of yeah. thinking. Yeah. Well, like, here's I an idea. I appreciate I, the note. I don't care. And you know what? I'll do my best, but. Right. If you're telling me I can't have a barbecue in my own backyard, right. go That's, yeah. fuck Yeah. But, like, yourself. if I'm inside doing some <sighs> pork chops or something on the stove. Yeah. I respect that. Sure. Res- sure, man. Yeah. I mean, I we should all get along. We should all try to help each other out. I agree. But, and, but yeah, the people that are that are, like trying to tell me how to live my life because of a situation yeah, I don't that they think are doing in that, though. no 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 but but they're asking so it's yeah. like and, and you know what if i am having a barbecue outside i would pre-warn them i would be the nice yeah, person right. go over and no, knock the door sure. and hey, be man. like hey just letting you know i we know you're vegan today. but we're gonna have a barbecue uh tomorrow night or whatever and give them a heads up and if they but if they lose their shit at that point if you guys want to come throw bye, some grass patties on the grill <laughs> yeah you're more than welcome <laughs> You can do it before we cook our meat. Yeah, but that's my answer. How about yeah. you, Derek? <clears throat> um, animal sacrifices in the front lawn. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew he was going to be an asshole about it. Yeah. I wouldn't be an He's asshole. He's going to start throwing carcasses at the... I wouldn't be an asshole. I would say, hey, just so you guys know, I'm going to be sacrificing an armadillo at 12.15 today. <laughs> he orders a meat lover's pizza for them. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And he has like people banging drums and shit like that yeah, during the yeah, whole yeah. sacrificial deal. Yeah. I could see you doing that. But it wouldn't be an armadillo. It'd be a cat. Oh, I, no, I'm allergic Oh, that's I'd hold I hold it down for you. Oh, then I'm in. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, next one. What would you do? You are on the phone with a stranger and find out they are taking a shit. What would you do? You too. <laughs> you have never done that to me, have you? Oh yeah. You said what? a stranger. Yeah, I've talked Derek's to Derek's not a stranger. I know, but that's even a friend thing. Like I won't even oh, answer yeah. the phone. Oh, I oh, yeah. only answer the phone if I'm on the pot. That's the only if or, I get a phone call. Pot. No, if I get a phone call and I'm like, oh, I really want to talk to this person. I have to run to the bathroom and start taking a shit before yeah. I answer the phone. What? Yeah, I hit the mute button as it's coming out and then I unmute it. Yeah. Why? That's so fucking weird, especially if it's a stranger. OK, well, we'll answer the question first. The, the question first Turns is me I, on. I am, I'm sure it does. <laughs> I am hanging the phone up. Like immediately, yeah. I hear like you know what I'm talking about the butthole echo sound in a in a in a fucking yeah. stall. I'm turn. I'm like, oh my god, why are you talking to me while you're shitting? Like that's no, don't do that. I'd never answer the phone if I'm pooping. I'm never answering the well, phone. There, there's a I'll good text chance you. I'm shitting. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'd say it's about fifty fifty. And I can tell when you're in the car. You shit in the car too. Yeah. Oh, I, it's I, it's happened before. Yeah, it <laughs> has. You're get, trying to get out of something. Yeah, yeah. trying to hurry up. And get <laughs> yeah, out. That's what yeah. I'm trying to do. Got my shit and slacks on. I fucking hate that, man. You get like a half mile from the house, and now your asshole's like, it's go time. Yeah, I'm it's like, no, late. it's not. Yeah, no we're, still, we're still a half mile away. Wait five minutes. Oh, God. No, so I'm hanging That's up the so phone. That's the worst. I've done that as an adult. I'm uh, hanging up the I phone. I just got to the door, touched Ugh. the doorknob, and then... It was over. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. It was horrible, man. Yeah, your asshole's like, all right, that's good enough. We're close enough. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, we're not. This ain't Chuck a Puck, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That ain't how that fucking works. No, it's horrible. Uh, no, I, for me, I'm hanging up and sending a text message saying, call me when you're done. Uh, but obviously, Derek, you said, uh, no, you're going to keep on just having the conversation. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's how I, that is how I, it was one of my favorite things I've ever done to my wife. Uh, I was running a bar, and one of my suppliers called me mid shit at home. And uh, I was I answered his questions, washed my hands, talking to him still on the phone, and then I didn't flush. I didn't want to like flush the toilet his ear. I just forgot and left because I'm still on the phone with a supplier. My wife and I were dating at the time, and uh, at like 10:30 at night, I get a text message, and it says, "Is there any reason you decided not to flush the toilet?" And I didn't add nothing, so I just sent back, 
surprise with a question mark? <laughs> <laughs> My uncle used to call them trophies. He, oh felt, he taught his kids, if you do a good one, if it's a trophy, you save that son of a bitch. You don't flush it down. Oh, my God. That's so good. I think, I think my nephew is three. He comes running out of the bathroom. Dad, Dad, I made a huge trophy. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, man. There's my uncle, no participation dude, trophies. My though. uncle that's, was amazing. But, wow. yeah, that's, a, that's still to this day we call them trophies. That's ridiculous. There's a place I like to eat in Oklahoma City called Tucker's Onion Burgers. It's oh, fucking yeah. fantastic. And they... Uh, we were we stopped there one of the last times we were in Oklahoma, and I told my wife I was like, they had like some shake or something that I wanted to try, and it was like blue, <sighs> and I get, I get then we get to the hotel that night, and I took a shit, and it's fucking blue. Oh no! Nice. And I was like, you got to see this. Uh, yeah, I go, I go, honey, you got to see this, and she's like, no, <laughs> and I'm like, look, here's the deal. I'm not flushing it, and there's no lid, so you might as well. <laughs> you get might it as well just with. look now. <laughs> and she walks in. And she goes, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "Right? Yeah. See, you had to see this." <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you ate a Smurf, awesome. I, dude. I shit blue for like three days. Are you, nice. What did you drink or eat? It was a small milkshake. Yeah, small. It was a small <laughs> milkshake. My ass! You haven't ever ate anything small dude, in your you, life. When you fucking eat at that place, you get a small. <laughs> <laughs> it's also it's already it's yeah. fucking huge. Jesus. I got a burger called the Mother Tucker. I won't touch it. <laughs> it's fucking like five patties. Oh, fuck that. That motherfucker. That place is legit. Awesome. All right. Uh, next one. What would you do? You are mid hookup and you find out that your partner only has one leg. Anybody? Well, JP. I think it would be it. better than finding out they have a third leg. <laughs> well, that's definitely true. That is true. How do you not know? Um, I don't know. Deuce Bigelow, male Gigolo didn't know. I mean, I guess flip him on the side and just keep going. I, I mean, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm I mean, gonna, I fucked people way worse people than somebody with one leg. I, I okay. Here, here's where my mind goes directly to is this is going to be one of the best stories in my entire oh, fucking life. Oh, yeah, it's definitely life. something to check off the list. Oh, that's, that is a For ching sure. oh, forever. Yeah. It's like, you want me to tell you a story? Let yeah. me tell you this story one time. And, and, it, and it just go right. Absolutely. I'm not only finishing, but I'm taking that motherfucker off because then you get more like, mm, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that thing out of the way. No, no, no. Go ahead and take it off. This will be a lot easier this way. Oh, for sure. Especially like stand up doggy style. And mm. then when you're done, just kick the other leg. Yeah, like, sweep dude. the leg. Sweep like, the leg. That's absolutely right. I'm going to karate like kid sweep the I'm leg. I'm with you. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, damn yeah, it. That's two say, weeks in a row. As soon as, I, as soon as I finished up and she was going to clean up, I'd go Johnny Lawrence on her. And just <laughs> Sweep the <away. laughs> leg. Yeah, that's right. And then fuck her in the ass. <laughs> oh, God. So, and JP, you said yeah, same, yeah, yeah. same thing. Yeah. God damn it. We're all thinking the same way. Jeez. Uh, and last. That's bad for you guys. I know. Uh, and last but not least, what would you do? You have a raging erection during an MRI scan. Uh, duh. <laughs> oh, I'm wanting printouts when this son of a bitch is yeah, done. Oh, I yeah. want to know. I want to know. Especially, I want to know the actual size that my FUPA takes away from the length. The, yeah, I, I want a printout of this shit. And I'm going to send it to all my friends. That's a dick pic that some people, somebody might appreciate. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. There's not room in the scanner for me to get an erection that I, I'm sure they'll figure out a way. Those, they, those things can zoom in. Pretty pretty good, uh, especially on a on a very very small area. They can zoom in pretty good. No, it's too. There's not enough space. I don't believe you. I can prove it. I don't want you to. <laughs> well, then I guess you better believe me. I guess I'll believe you then. All Sorry, right. JP's got, apparently got a huge penis. So how about you, Derek? I'm guessing just tuck it into my waistband. Just like I did <laughs> <back here. laughs> just the same as I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You can't fit books he's, in there, so you got to <laughs> fit it into your waistband. <laughs> it's like he's fucking playing basketball, yeah. setting a screen just right. in there, just like covering it Smart. up. Smart. Like <laughs> it's the best answer. That's uh, pretty good. I, I do. I enjoy that. Yeah. All right. So that was what would you do? Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, whoops. I'm throwing those away. Quit touching my penis. It's I, weird. I wasn't. Damn it. I just dropped my pen. Uh, yeah. First, <laughs> yeah, I just dropped my pen, dude. Yeah. Uh, first question. <laughs> Uh, this is actually going to be from a listener. So again, if you have any suggestions, send them to send them to us. Uh, first question comes from Barry. I believe it's Nangle. He wants to know. I would say Nanjali. Oh, I'm sure you would. The yeah. PA is actually Barai. Yeah, Barai. <laughs> Barai 
Brian named Jolly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian named Jolly wants to know what types of TikTok show up on your for you page, JP. Mm, I mean, obviously, it's mostly just like. Nah. Mostly, it's just guys and speedos. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Really? Why else would you watch TikTok? Well, I know there's thirst traps for for like with girls doing it, but they're all like. Oh. You don't. You just keep like scrolling because you have no idea. By the way, if those girls are every TikTok on, that I uh, every account that I follow is a thirst trap. <laughs> <laughs> there is not one. I want to follow you guys, but I don't because there's not this that. is no thirst trap. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me, dude? This. Come on, man. I'm a good looking dude. Derek's not, but I am. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> you bet, Scotty. It's everything I could do not to just shoot fucking your, shoot your shot, JP. Shoot yeah, your shot. shoot your shot. Uh, yeah, no, but yeah, everything oh, yeah. I look at it on there is. I mean, I look at funny stuff too. But yeah, there's got to be like a funny channel. Mm, no, most generally it's it's all thirst traps. Well, yeah. if, if you were to guess, if you were to fucking guess, what are the things that come up on my TikTok for you page? Snowboarding. One. Glenn Kuiper. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's definitely not that. No. It's golf instruction golf. videos. Yeah, golf yeah. instruction. Yeah. It's, it's all that's of that also, shit. That's also, he's subscribed to four OnlyFans, and they're all golf instructional videos. 100% I'm paying to make sure I get the good yeah. ones. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I hear you. Oh, no. But every fucking video is just that shit. But you know what? Help, it improves my game. That's the way I got. But, yes, there are funny also, ones. Also... <laughs> Oh, I didn't shit. want to say this, man. We're going to get letters. <laughs> oh, uh, lots of Down syndrome kids on my. Uh, That's good, though. Free. But you like no, it. Not for, <laughs> no, not. It's kind of not. They're, they're, cage they're fighting. also the thirst traps. <laughs> they're all cage fighting. They're also cage fighting and thirst traps. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Battle bots. So right? Battle bots. I, I follow yeah. battle bots. Too. No, I just send them to my friends. Like <laughs> That's great. Yeah. You should. And You really yeah. should. Oh, okay. God. This is terrible. Man. Man, I, w- I used to Ugh. think I was a good person. How about you, Derek? Uh, midgets and kids getting hurt. Yeah, yep. I know yep. the kids getting hurt. I started following yeah, them. Great channel. Great channel. Yeah, that pops up a lot. And then politics all the time. But. I'm sure, yeah. Which we don't talk about on this show. Nope, that's why I didn't all bring right. it up much I know. further. Yep, that's right. All right, uh, next one. I respect women so much that I blank. Let them smell it after. Very good. Mm-hmm. Good for you. That way they know. Yeah, exactly. Do you let them take pictures in just in case? Mm-mm. No, no, just, no smell. just smell. Scratch okay. Sniff. They have to put their cell phones in one of those like things that you have to Absolutely. go to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's tough shit. Yeah, it's like a Dave Chappelle show. Yep. <laughs> That's right. It could be blue. You never know. Uh, mine. Uh, I leave my dishes by the sink so she can put them in the dishwasher where she wants them to go. That's mine. You're a good guy. I know, dude. I respect them that much. Her, I, I my respect, wife. I respect women so much that I tucked my dick between my legs and <laughs> tried to become one. Oh, did you? And, yeah, like uh, impersonated one. Man. And you know, the other thing is, is that I drive, I drive my wife everywhere so she doesn't have to. So we fucking make it there. There's a lot of shit that I do just for her good, because yeah. I respect him so much. You're a good guy. You know what I'm saying? I've known it for a long time, man. I watch uh, the WNBA for five seconds just so they have some kind of ratings. Uh, but yeah. Uh, next one. What is something you learned growing up that is apparently no longer true? Uh, good for you, buddy. Uh, for, I'm sorry. I'll repeat the question because you guys weren't paying attention. <laughs> we were not. What is something you learned growing up that is apparently no longer true? There's a few of them. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, don't get into cars with strangers. That's definitely yeah. one. Don't take. Don't eat that. You don't know where it's been. One hundred percent. Drugs are bad. Yeah. Yeah. Don't uh, don't tattletale. That's how you get qualified immunity. Oh yeah. Uh, so you don't right. want. What else was there? Uh, don't meet weird people off. Don't meet people. Period. Off the internet. No. Don't. And still, yeah. definitely don't do that now. Yeah. Whoa. Don't take candy from strangers. No. <laughs> Jeez, Bill Cosby's That's out That's where right you get now. the best candy. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? For us, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the best kind of candy. Bill Cosby's out hanging around playgrounds right now, handing that shit out for free. Um, uh, Mine's the obvious one. Boys have penises and girls have vaginas. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I pushed the wrong button. No, that was the right one. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> you, just put, no. you just put a bunch of goats on the thing. No. Uh, I, I, Man, there's a... Yeah, yeah. Ah! 
<laughs> still the best fucking thing in a long time. Uh, there, there are tons of them. Um, like, uh, sm- like I don't know, like smoking pot, like was bad. It was bad back in the day. This is your brain. This is your, your brain, brain on, on pot. Drugs. Yeah. Any well, no, questions? it was just pot. It, was it wasn't even drugs. It was drugs. They I'm said just, drugs. I'm just saying, they like pot. they meant that they were. It was a hard push against marijuana back when we were growing, or when I was growing up. I'm, I'm, a, I would consider myself a '90s kid. I was born. Uh, oh in the yeah, 80s. for sure. I just saw a, uh, an old like. 90s commercial about yeah. marijuana yeah and it's two guys hanging out two like high school kids hanging out by the bathroom yeah and they go into the bathroom and the it says is your kid gay oh. or is he smoking marijuana oh gee and like which one's worse you know what i mean <laughs> he's actually, I'm both. Sucking, dick he's to actually get sucking dick to get the marijuana is what i was thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and i think that's underrated like I, and I, I got some more i like uh what about like eggs are eggs good or bad Exactly. That's kind of my point. Right. It, it flip yeah. flops back and forth. Are fantastic. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure. Also, if you jerk off too much, you will lose your eyesight. That's bullshit. I can see just fine. Absolutely. If you sit, too I had close, to have LASIK. If you sit too close, oh, oh, <laughs> touche. Uh, you sit too close to the TV, you yeah, go right, blind. Right, yeah, that's yeah. that's not happening. Yeah. If you make a face, if you person, make that face, it'll get stuck that way. Yeah, see, that's bullshit. It's yeah. all bullshit. They just want you to act like a fucking normal kid. There is there is such a thing as a Santa Claus. He just doesn't love you. That's right. Uh, if I heard if I had a nickel for every time I heard that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. There's there's tons of them, and so that's uh, the easiest way until your kids are like nine or ten to get out of buying presents. Oh, for sure. Just oh, look, Cole again. Yeah, you should have been sorry. better. Yep, you yeah. got something to strive for next year. Actually, and I don't even like threatening them with the coal. It's like you ever heard of Krampus, you little motherfucker? That's more my style. Yeah, my wife gets those like once a month. Yeah, Krampuses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Krampuses. Oh, got it. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. My favorite new bumper sticker is honk if blank. Your horn works. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Honk if your horn works. I like it. That's I like a, it. That is a good one. That's just super now, easy. You now, know? Just, now just imagine just if you could. Just testing it out. Yep, it's good. <laughs> and, and just imagine if you could switch the regular horn sound out with the screaming goat sound. That'd be, uh, that'd be fucking great. I think everybody would use their horn, horn more often if that was the case. Uh, mine would be... Uh, Honk if Lizzo is not really the beauty standard. That's mine. Yeah. Yep. Have it. How about you, JP? Racist fuck. No. She's a fat piece of shit. But go ahead. Go ahead. In his defense, he calls me the same thing. I sure do. (laughs) (laughs) Honk if you love the N-word. Oh, oh, no. Uh, Scotty's horn would wear out. No. (laughs) It would. (laughs) He'd just be driving all over town. He goes into stores and the panic alarms just go off. (laughs) My best friends listen to this show and they're two black guys. So fuck you both. There, there, that just proves you're racist. Uh, I'm not racist. My best friends are black. No, the last thing that I want them to think, no bullshit. This is really serious. I'm being dead serious. This is out of character. The last thing that, that, that I want them to think is that behind their back, they're your best friends and they know I would never do that. Well, then you don't have anything to worry about. I know. I just still, it's just, maybe you should just stop being racist. Fuck you. I mean, that'd probably solve the problem. God damn it. All right. Last question. Blank. The modern day sexual education DVD. <laughs> I got nothing. My girlfriend has a penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Derek. Uh, Despicable V. Oh. Despicable V. Who doesn't love minions and pussy? You know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really. <laughs> Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> Instead of banana. Vagina. <laughs> Vagina. Ah. <laughs> uh. I, I I don't have a funny. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. I don't. I never have anything funny, anyways. Um, but uh, I I remember what we watched when we were, and it was a VHS. It was not a DVD, but it was like it was kind of like an off-brand Reading Rainbow kind of style VHS movie, or what it is. And it was called My Body Is Changing, and I still remember that to this. I think it's day. My Changing Body. Was it? Uh, we watched it in health class. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you kind of remember sure. it? Okay. Yeah. And uh, and I still re- remember bits and pieces of it to this day. <laughs> but I... <laughs> what, did I <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> oh, my God. I killed JP. 
I just tried to imagine the bits and pieces you remember. Okay. That's uh, all. I'll be honest with you. Oh, and man. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world whenever they, like, the most obvious thing that they said was that uh, the penis had one hole, and I had one kid in class go, imagine if it had six or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like a strain. spraying everywhere. Exactly. That's why uh, we have urinals. But anyway. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, that is mine. All and right. that is questions and preguntas. So now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's draft. I can't do it anymore. Everybody hates it, and I just keep on doing it, and I don't care. Uh, but uh, last week dra- or last week's draft was the most ridiculous things we could uh, we could buy if money was not an object. And Derek won that with a swimming pool full of macaroni and cheese. I like to think it was the giraffe. The gi- <laughs> the pet, like a petting giraffe, just go up and say hi to a giraffe. Yeah, it just kind of hangs out around the yard, you uh-huh. know. Okay. All right. Whatever. Every now and again, I'll throw rocks at it to piss the vegans off. How the fuck do not the, do a whole bunch of other people not want a shitload of tanks in their like front yard? I, no. I think that's a great idea. But uh, okay, so not so much. So Derek won. He gets the championship picks. I got second. I get the sandwich picks. And JP <clears> gets <throat> up front and personal like he normally likes it. And uh, he gets the first pick. Right. Uh, this week's draft is going to be well. The things that will get you fired draft. So uh, kind of excited about this one. And JP, you get the first pick. (laughs) (laughs) Things that will get you fired. Um, Okay, how about uh, scratching off scratch tickets? What? If you're working at a convenience store and you just scratch off scratch tickets. That'd be theft. Okay, theft then. Yeah, stealing from the company. Yep. Okay. I'll do it. That's uh that's good. You you made it more personal. I get it. But I won eventually. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> you know, more yeah. Yeah, some, you won so much. And in some days and some days I won more than I than I scratched. Did you get so. fired for it? <clears throat> mm-hmm. I mean I was about to get fired, but then I quit. Okay. All like, right. I knew it was coming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was young, man. Right. I was young. Uh, my number one pick is going to be saying the N word. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, you should be fired if you do that. As should Scott. You've uh, been fired a lot. Too. No, mm-hmm. I've actually I, never. I, I've actually <laughs> never been fired. So because, uh, he because, says it on the way out. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I quit yet. No, I don't. Uh, so that's mine, uh, Derek. You get one and two. Oh gosh, um, being late all the time. Being late is a big one. Okay, and you get one more. Gosh. There's a whole bunch of these. Being lazy. Being lazy, just not, not doing anything? Not doing shit. Yeah. Just okay. showing up, and that's it. Doing the bare minimum. Ah, and that's just such bullshit. If you do the bare minimum. Not the bare minimum, but I mean, like, just showing up. Not doing anything. Yeah. Uh, that's what pisses me off the most, is that they, uh, a lot of people that hire employees and stuff like that. I mean, you do want to be a good employee, but the people that you're paid, uh, especially like minimum wage, people that make minimum wage, you're paid to do the bare minimum. That's kind of the whole ordeal. Now, granted, if you do more than that, you should be promoted or something. You know, they, they should have aspirations, but you can't fire somebody for doing the bare minimum because that's what they're getting paid to do. So that's beside the point. Um, so I'm going to say uh, fornicating on the job. Um, if you get caught, <laughs> oh, okay. I was just getting ready to say, hold on. Uh, okay, cool. If you get caught, very yeah. well, very yeah. well. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, you're, okay. you're you're fucking your way on up. Good enough, thing. good yeah, enough. So okay, that's that. Uh, nice. JP, you get two. Um, <laughs> this really happened. <laughs> that's it why wasn't this is me. Getting good, yeah, uh huh. Using a bucket of mayo to jerk off in the walk in at McDonald's. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, uh, old, <laughs> old Archie. Archie. Oh, wow. Archie got fired. Manning? No. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I don't even know his last name. Uh, I just call him I just call him Patty Mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But, uh, yeah, that happened, man. All right. Mm. Okay. And you get one more. Um 
let's see what else can you get fired for there's there's tons of these i don't know why you guys i just don't i mean i'm a good employee you are a good employee i will say that now what would piss your boss off really i guess uh you can get if you cuss out a customer like like, (laughs) cussing out a a customer that's what yeah cussing out a customer yeah that's uh that's a pretty good one yep I think I'm going to win this week, boys. I, I, I was, I'm going to get smoked. Yeah, you, you probably. No, you'll think of more as they come <clears> in. <throat> so uh, I, I actually, especially for my job, if you do this too many times, you're probably getting let go, and that is damaging property. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, matter of fact, <laughs> I should have got that one because I got fired from Saturn. Oh, did because you? Because we went out, me and my boss went out uh, at lunch and mm-hmm. got fucking stupid high. And I was a detailer, and I would, like, once they bought the car, they would bring it back to us. We would detail it and uh-huh. then take it back up there all clean and pretty. And it was an extended cab truck. Mm-hmm. And when I was pulling out of the bay, I didn't pay attention that it was extended cab, and mm-hmm. I just fucking scraped the whole side of it. And they gave me a little paper, and they are like, we need you to go take a drug test. So I got in my car, and I went home. <laughs> <laughs> so I technically didn't get fired, but... Yeah, I quit. Yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you that. both a little bit more time to come up with because I got to tell this story. It's one of the funniest things that ever happened in my job. And I do work at a dealership, but um, behind our dealership, there is a dried up pond. It's still somewhat wet. It's like a swamp kind of thing. And um, you we have a lot of of uh, salespeople at our place of work that have to go and get vehicles and bring them back. There was one particular individual who was doing drugs on uh, on the premises. That's my next one. Man. I know. Sorry. And he ended up getting into a brand new vehicle. And uh, there is probably, I'd say, a good, I don't know, 20 yards, 20 yards uh, of grass yeah, in between, between the pond. There. I know where you're. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and a curb. Uh, this particular individual was going 40 miles an hour oh, and bomb. and. Went no over the curb way. and Bo and Luke duked it all the oh, way in into the, the middle pond? of the pond. No way! I that's have, a good chunk. That's man. a huge chunk. Wow. I mean, he did, and that car good for was him, bro. Yeah, trashed. I'm sure. Up. Oh, it was bad. That's so, awesome. Yeah, he didn't work there much longer. Right on. But anyways, uh, Derek, uh, two showing up drunk. Oh, that's yep. a, yeah, that's a good yep. one. Yeah, that yep. one does suck when you work at a dealership and you're drunk from the night before and then you have to go on a test drive and uh. they want you to drive. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not good. Yeah, that's we totally had, true. We had one guy that traded a vehicle in back when I was selling cars and it had the interlock. Oh, yeah. And it was one of the sales guys that traded it in and a different sales guy was trying to sell it and he the other guy had to go with him and the and the customer mm-hmm. to blow in the interlock while the customer was driving the wow. car. Wow. That's fantastic. Um and then I'm going to go with uh assaulting a coworker. Damn it. That was the one I was going to use next. Shit. Uh, God dang it. Well, shoot, because that was the one I was going to try to give myself a little bit. So I'm not going to take yours because I'm not a douchebag. I think you you <clears throat> kind of earned that one. You are the uh, the you are the show's one and only pothead. Um, so I am going to. Um, I don't know how to say this politically correctly. Oh, here I comes guess. the end bomb. <laughs> No, no, uh, I I do know of somebody who who did get fired immediately after this happened, but it had to do with um, canoodling with somebody and not of age. Oh, uh, underage canoodles. Uh, yeah, underage canoodles. Yeah, so that is going to be the sexual harassment kind of thing. Yep, I had that one on my list. Yeah. Woo-hoo, on video. So, yeah, nice. that's that one. And uh, JP, you get your last two, so we're going to go with drugs. Uh, drugs. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't smoke your drugs at work. Do not. Nope. So. And, uh, hmm. Uh, letting your penis hang out of the side of your pants? Yeah. That'll get you fired. Yeah. That's sexual harassment, though. Is it? I yeah, don't know. kind I mean, of. I mean, sure. That's different, though. Not. How about this? How about it's bad different. hygiene? Oh, okay. You can get fired for bad hygiene. Can you legally? I'm saying I'm not. They'll t- find they'll, a reason. They'll find yeah. a reason. It's Kansas. You can fire anybody for any reason. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with last but not least because this is a very legitimate fucking reason to be fired. 
And that is if you annoy everybody else you fucking work with. If you are somebody that nobody wants to be around. How long have you worked there? I've worked there now for 11 years. That is an unfireable offense. Right. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently they cannot fire you for yeah. that. They sure can. If they really want to, they can. So All right. we'll if you're not you. a fun person to work yeah. with, you're a piece of shit. You're going to get canned. So uh, that is my last one. All Derek, right. you get to wrap this draft up, dude. Uh, fucking the boss's wife. Oh, man. Okay. Yep. That'll if you hook up it. with the boss, that's uh, that's definitely frowned upon, I've been told. Not the boss. The boss's wife. Did I say boss? Yeah. I meant the boss's wife. Yeah. I figured JP would go for the boss and you would go for the wife. Either way. It depends if she's hot or not. Yeah. Uh, okay. She's not. You're assuming the boss is a man. It's very sexist. This of is you. totally always. true. It's very always. sexist of you. Yeah. Mm-mm, not always. Uh, anything else off the top of your head? The only that you goddamn companies I work for it is. No, that's okay. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, can you think of some other ones in Pee- more detail? Pee- more de- peeing in the coworker soup. <laughs> That'll get you fired if you get caught doing that. Fucking with people's lunches yeah. and stuff like that'll, that. That'll yeah, get that'll, you fired. that'll that's a pretty good one. I, I do have some other ones. Breaking, like I know, uh, like damage to the actual property, but like, uh, like losing money for the company. Like sabotaging it, sabotaging right, okay. shit. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Insider trading, really? embezzlement. Yeah, getting arrested at work. Yeah. That'll oh, that's a, that'll yeah, that's that'll a that'll, that'll fucking do that's it. Yeah, one. that's a good one. Mm-hmm. So lying on your resume. Oh yeah. <laughs> what could you lie about? For have for you like, never seen Catch Me If You Can? That guy oh, fucking yeah. did everything. He yeah. sure did. Yeah. Uh, but no, like one of the, one of the things on your resume is I can ride horses. So your boss just happens to have a fucking stable full of horses, takes you out there, and you you fucking embarrass yourself. Yeah, that'd be good. You know, shit like that. Okay, all right. Well, now you can go to uh, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji of the list that you like the best for uh, the best reasons for getting terminated at your place of work. And you can also go to uh, LOT sidelines on Twitter. I will put that up there too. And uh, yeah, if you don't follow us on there yet, please do. Uh, It's going that direction. I like how you've literally done all the things on your list, except the fornicating at work. Says who? I work with you. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done any of them, actually. Not the fornicating. I've seen you do the other stuff. I've never though. done that one. I've, ne- I've never done any of them. I've never damaged any but anybody's problem. Uh, surprisingly, believe it or not, working at a dealership and driving cars, <laughs> never wrecked a car before. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, none of that. Uh, maybe the last one. Maybe annoying a couple of people. I do that on purpose to people I don't like, and so fuck them. But You I like- sexually harassed me every day. I did not. You annoyed me. <laughs> And I, yeah, you <clears throat> damaged my everything. <laughs> Your soul. Yes, and and then I, always with the N word. <laughs> Never. I've no. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So do us a favor. Go and vote uh, for the list that you like the most, and the winner uh, next week gets uh, nothing. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single Laughing on the Sidelines episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines uh, is brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Blockbuster Video. Derek? What? What's the movie of the week at Blockbuster Video? Oh, that's easy. Coneheads. <laughs> Coneheads. <laughs> Coneheads. Get your copy yeah. today. Uh, 1989? I don't remember. I don't either. Mm-hmm. They, they are, are from France. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Uh, but that's our sponsor for uh, for this week's Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, shitty situation. Uh, and this week's shitty situation is you are going viral on TikTok, right? Sure. Okay. YouTube, awesome. TikTok. I'm all, not surprised. All, all the, the social, TikToks. All, all the all social the medias. Uh, would you rather go viral for beating up a handicapped kid or saying a racial slur? Ooh. Handicap kid, handicap kid, handicap kid. I'm beating the shit out of a fucking handicap kid. While he calls him racial slurs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
both. Can it be both? Absolutely Why not. can't it be both? It's Scotty's not. like, I thought you said this was a shitty situation. Yeah, this, I do this on a weekly. Like, no. He's like, I get famous for doing what I love. No. <laughs> no. I I am beating the ever-living shit out of a handicapped kid in a cage match in... It's oh, non-sanctioned. Man. It's just in the yard. I yeah, don't care. Just, yeah. I'm turning it into a cage mat. I'm building the cage in my front yard, and I'm jumping off of the very top of it and leg dropping or something. I don't care. Okay. So All that's right. I'm doing that. Forever, I expect nothing more. <laughs> Fine. What do you want me to fucking like? What? What was it RKO called? RKO the little fucker. RKO man. Yeah. out of the wheelchair. Put it, put the wheelchair on the top of the top rope, and then fucking RKO right. off that. Okay, I'll right do that. On. How about you, uh, JP? Uh, definitely beat up the handicapped kid. Yeah, it's yeah. not even close. It's, no, yeah. I can't, I couldn't do it, dude. Yeah, I'd... Uh, I don't have it in my vocab. This is right. not not gonna work. Okay, but would you enjoy it? What beating up the handicapped kid? What if nobody knew? No, this is viral. Oh, it's I, I never, viral. No, no, we already know the answer. We're both beating up handicapped kids. Me and JP are for sure. But if nobody knew. Uh, tag team. Right? <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'd kind of enjoy beating up. We're talking about fighting still, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, all of a sudden, things took a turn. Oh, my God. Things just Sorry. took a turn. That took a second. No, we're not tag teaming nothing. <laughs> <laughs> how about- that's how Scotty got fired from the gas station. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's you it. cannot tag team a handicapped You kid. sure can. It goes against consent laws. But anyways, how about you, Derek? You know what? I declined to answer. Keep laughing, assholes. <laughs> no, you can't. You got to pick. Oh, man. One, you're going to catch a charge for. We're getting some letters on this show. I don't, oh, God. I don't, I don't care. You're going to get charged for, I think, either. Uh, no, both of, you, I mean, you, you don't get you, charged you just, for using racial you slur. You just get canceled. Yeah. yeah. I think you get killed later. You get later. Char- later. You yeah, get but canceled. if you beat up a kid and go to jail, don't care. you know what happens. I Just beat him up. It was uh, uh, you got to explain yourself in prison. It was either that or this, and I chose uh, that. So er, there you go. Hmm. Mm, I can't believe it's taking you this long to contemplate. It makes me question whether or not you're actually no. the one that has a little bit of racism in there. I say honky a lot. Yeah, that's true. Uh, God damn. <sighs> Come on. I'm buddy. just thinking of consequences if you go to jail. I'd rather like, go to jail. Yeah, but they will fucking kill you if you go to jail for like child abuse, any kind of child abuse. You're fucking, you're gonna die. You're gonna die if you drop that up. The, you very well might. Yeah, but I mean, it's a sure that is that is. Ugh. So I guess you're going with. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to go with the other one. Yeah, for that reason, okay. I, you go to jail and you fuck yeah. with a kid. If you fuck with a kid or you like rape a chick and you go to prison, rape a chick definitely. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get killed. You're gonna yeah. get killed for child molesting and fucking child abuse you're gonna get the shit beat out of you i don't i don't think i I mean i don't think uh (laughs) sometimes the people in jail know the handicapped kid had it coming (laughs) no kidding i mean sometimes (laughs) that is true that is true and we don't we don't even uh, i mean here's here's i'll tell you what here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna beat the shit out of the handicapped kid there you go and here's what i'm gonna say when i go to jail he just kept screaming racial slurs (laughs) there you go there you go i was like what do you want me to do i'm eating at your table like that so there you go that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be. That's so we're all beating the shit out of handicapped yeah. kids. So I did, and, and I, we weren't very specific on the handicap that they particular that, that this. No, nope, it doesn't say. Hold on, it could because be anything. There's a story that actually coincides with this, and this is very very real. This was just the other day. Um, there was a kid that came and with their parents and picked up their car, and it was screaming bloody murder to the point where it was getting ready to break glass around it. The, yeah. <laughs> uh, the so, handicapped kid, and it and and it. the kid did it for the whole time which was like 20 minutes it was it was ear piercing to where people that were there who were total strangers were turning around saying beat that kid's ass that is when i would step in and take care of the situation perfect so you're a hero and turns out they had you're a fucking hero just had autism which is like you know every once in a while beat the shit out of them i think you can't beat autistic I think sometimes they're uh, just. I don't even think they're. Is they're your kid? Is your, I think sometimes they're just assholes. Yeah. Is your kid autistic? Does he keep acting up? Well, have I got a solution for you, <laughs> Scotty German? That's right, man. I'll never forget the time back when I was selling cars and I had this family. It was like a mom, dad, and two kids, and they were looking at like a van or something. And the, one of the kids was like this eight-year-old fucking redheaded kid. And uh, I, I said, I'm trying to make small talk. I don't talk to kids well. I don't like them. Not same. And uh, But I was like, so what do you want to do when you grow up? And he goes, I want to be a race car driver. I said, well, that's cool, man. He goes, but I can't. 
And I'm like, you can do whatever you want to do, man. Why do you say that? He's like, no, I can't. I'm autistic. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, your parents just they set really, you yeah, up. They, yeah, they let, him know, where, oh they let him know where his life was going right away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, like, buddy, maybe set your goals a little lower. <laughs> it's like, I want to be Here, president. Uh, play no. with these matchbox cars instead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, that's awful. It's like uh, telling the daughter, I'm going to be president. Oh, you're a woman. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm a secretary. Oh, Wah, wah, wah. That's bad. I'm like fucking Elon Musk is a billionaire, dude. You can do whatever the fuck you want. No, you kidding? Yeah. Well, now he's a millionaire. He was a billionaire though. Oh no, it's still with a B. Is it? It's okay. getting close to a T, if I remember correctly. But but uh, but anyways, uh, no, it. Oh, shit, I couldn't fucking believe that. I've man. had I've yeah. had kids drive golf carts through windows. <laughs> it's fucking no. like, while you were licking uh, the window. No, no, they they. I had kids steal a golf cart and went on a joy ride and drove it right through the fucking front of the building. It was nice. awesome. So yeah, they, right. they'd get the shit kicked out of them. But anyways, guys, that is our episode this week. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. We sincerely do appreciate it. Keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, subscribe to us on uh, Twitter at uh, LOT Sidelines and uh, on Instagram as well at Laughing on the Sidelines and on TikTok. We sincerely hope that you guys are enjoying all those videos and sending them to your friends. That's what we enjoy the most because that helps the show grow and we appreciate all that you guys are doing. And like we always like to say, guys, oh, uh, before I do that, Hey, JP, thanks for coming by, buddy. I appreciate hey, man. it. Absolutely. We will see you next week. Derek's got you know, baseball for a while. Too. Yeah, Derek's got baseball for a while, so we won't right see on. him next week. But it's going to be a better show that way. Don't forget, if you are in the Wichita, Kansas area, please go out to uh, Riverfront Stadium on the 19th yeah, to man. see Jeremy Joseph throw out the first pitch. All of us are going to be there. I'm planning on being there. Not well, you're going to be there. You have to. No, you're yeah. just going to poke my eye. Oh no, I went like you're that. Like, I'll be there, man. Absolutely, of absolutely. So yeah. everybody that can go, we sincerely appreciate. It. Tickets are cheap as shit, and I'm going to be walking around for a good majority of it and putting this video together. That's going to be great. Uh, but guys, thank you very much. And like we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope Jackson Mahomes shoves two fingers up your butt. Wow! All right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.